What's up, beautiful people? In this video, I you see some things that I have. We're gonna talk about the things that I have, but in this video, I'm gonna clean what I have, and we'll talk all about it, okay? Let's get to it, y'all. What's up, beautiful people, and welcome to another episode of Don't Keep Up With, Don't Keep, Don't Keep Up With the Joneses. Don't, don't keep up with the, don't keep up with the Joneses. Don't keep up with, don't keep, don't keep up with the Joneses. Don't, don't keep up with the, don't keep up with the Joneses. Ba -ba 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 hey 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 great people how y'all doing today my name is Ricky Jones Jr. and if you don't know I love doing gardening videos and different things here and there however if you are new to the channel please subscribe I would greatly appreciate it and by the end of the video I'm sure you will like to smash that like button and then you can click the bell notification so that you are aware of other videos just like this and I always like to know where people are viewing from so if you are viewing for the first time or you haven't put it before let us know in the comment section below where you are viewing from you never know somebody in your area or in your city may be viewing as well and it may help a linkage or a you know a unity of a community in your given area so with that being said like i said great people you all see what's behind me if you don't know what they are you will be in full knowledge and understanding of them by the end of this video and what they are are 55 gallon terracotta water holders okay ladies and gentlemen which is gonna like boost up what i am able to do in the garden another level and what I will use these for are water storage holders okay water storage holders water storage barrels water storage bins however you want to call it that is what they are however what I need to do first is clean them off because what they were used for before they came to me they were used for Greek olives you can see it right there Greek olives extra large pitted if you like Greek olives hey this is how it comes right and so inside of it we have olives water salt and vinegar which was in here which is cool because that means it's full food graded and what i like about it too is that let me show you all if i can find it i saw it when i first picked it up oh boom look at this guys look there's even greek writing on the side of it so i dig it it lets me know that it is certified for food grade products because there was fruit stored in it and you know we all in there and it's still within the best if used by <laughs> so these olives are still good and popping and doing what they do however i'm gonna use this whole barrel to do what i need to do <laughs> all right so what i've been doing this video is clean these bad boys out and even talk through what i'm mean, thinking about on how to use these bad boys and what i'm going to use are some dollar tree well i bought these at the dollar tree some uh dishwashing soap and also i have a little sponge squeegee cleaning my bobber thingy like that now i am showing you this as well because when i was inquiring and looking as to how i should go about cleaning these i was told to use bleach water and soap and i talked to the individual that sold me these barrels and i told them about the idea of using bleach and they said i mean would you want bleach in your water and I correctly said no. And so, and that being said, let me show you what I am doing and let you know if it's something that you can do and minimally, evasively uh, clean these bad boys. Because essentially, all we're trying to do is get out the salt, the vinegar, the smell, so that it just be fresh water that's going through. Well, fresh rainwater going through from the sky to my plants. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use these bad boys. I'm going to do this back here. I'm going to talk through what I am going to do. And I want you to be able to stick to the end so that you can see the end products the finished results and know that you can as well do this too so let's go ahead and get to cleaning i talked enough let's clean <coughs> so as you all know i do like to talk as we go so what i do like about these like i said is that they have a nice little deep well situation on the top but more than anything we're just going to go ahead and spray out the little kinks and little black marks and things like that which are your olives that are probably just hardened and things like that and so we're going to spray those bad boys out before we do topple them over to the side before you can um go ahead and clean those bad boys and what you can see they're at a nice height you know what i'm saying if i'm at a five foot seven height you know it's about half my height we're gonna, we're gonna call this what it is and so as you can see i'm just spraying it all out just making sure it looks the way i want it to look as i'm cleaning this bad boy out and just spraying some dishwashing soap that i showed you all before in there and allowing it to just soak in there y'all know things just work better when you allow the soap just to soak into your area and things like that but anyway we just gonna spray those bad boys out as you see then spray the soap in there and then from there you just get down on your knee and scrub i mean you scrub as deep and far as you can go i would recommend you scrubbing with a apparatus that has like a stick that allows you to get deeper in there but i was able to get in there as deep as i could i wasn't able to get all the way to the back obviously because i mean it's it's half my height but i was able to get deep enough in which i 
I felt satisfied with the cleanliness of it. And of course, just scrubbing on the outside and things as well. Anything that will come in contact with my water, I just want to go ahead and make sure it was clean and scrubbed off. And as you can see, I did a little shaky, shaky, shaky at the bottom and just hope whatever took place at the bottom is going to clean out what it was at the bottom. So that's how I went about the whole cleaning process of that. Okay. So we just see me just rinsing it out, making sure all soap suds are out. And then from there, what I'm doing is taking off the top part, a little sticker and cleaning that area off as well. And there's a little part where it keeps it like waterproof and just making sure that's clean. The little base part, making sure that's clean. Everything needs to be clean. Okay. And so you can see me scrubbing that as well. I'm all about cleanliness. And so keeping my stuff from smelling like or tasting like olives is the way to go. And so cleaning was a necessity. And so that was a little bottom part, which I decided to keep with the idea that if there were any leaves just so happened to get into my water uh, barrels, I'll be able to, through that, get the leaves out a little bit easier. That was my thought. That's why I kept it. And that's what I'm doing. So just cleaning everything. Okay. Making sure everything is clean from the back to the top, to the end, to the out. Everything has to be clean. Spraying that bad boy down putting it back on top and i mean that's that's how it went ladies and gentlemen and just like that water seal is on put that on and then you just screw it in and just like that you have a whole water barrel all right let's talk a little bit more <laughs> all right great people just like that we have a finished product which i'm also excited about now you may have looked at it and said man I don't know it took all that well for me it does take all of that because i do not like or want the taste of olives vinegar or salt in my water that's feeding my plants that inevitably may give my plants or my vegetables a uh olive flavor i, I don't want that but you may do so however you choose to do know that you can do it and i showed you how so with that being said i appreciate you all love you all make sure you all tune back in to see how i do decide to connect these bad boys whether if i use them as solo independent systems or connect them as a dual tube for one type scenario make sure you check in make sure you lock in click that bell notification so that you are aware for when that video does drop because um, I have some thinking to do but what I do like is I do have this little deep low well situation where water can come in and create the whole situation where it will be stored so with that being said i love you all i appreciate you all and if you missed anything or if i did not share or express anything that you needed more information on please let me know in the comment section below and i will do my best to communicate with you the information that you need so with that being said i love you all i appreciate you all to the next video and subscribe if you haven't already done so i gave you enough time to do so click that thumbs up button because you like what i did and you want to see more of that again so with that being said look at that classic car not every day do you get to see a classic car, but I just did, we just did, and with that being said, out, out for real. Love you, appreciate you, peace. <laughs>